Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag ways where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesale and today I am being joined, as you can see, we're all working from home, all thanks to the NSAS protest. I'm being joined by EC of Odile and <laughs> Nasa Ken Ugu. We are all working Hello. from home. <laughs> Hi. Hi EC. Let me start with EC. How are you doing, EC? I'm locked up at home thanks to the protesters. I'm fine though, but it's it has been a beautiful day. Let me just put it that way. We are fighting for a worthy cause. <laughs> Our experience on Sunday. Remember the experience we had on Sunday? We didn't get home until 4 a.m. Yeah, My goodness. Wow. My goodness. Today would have been worse. We wouldn't have even gotten to the studio because right in front of my house. They, um, they, the, the protesters were there. I couldn't even go out of the estate gate. Everywhere was jammed. The protesters were there. Everybody was chanting, making noise. You know, you know the works with the protesters. Everybody's excited, and I know we're working. We are trying to do something for for the good of the future so of we, uh, the Nigerians. We, exactly. NASA, how are you doing? Hi, <laughs> hi, ladies. We're Hello. connecting digitally. Isn't it amazing? Who would have thought this the, the day would come that the entire I've, show would happen from home, right? I call it the evolution of ways. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And um, now that you were saying that it prepared us for all of this. It did. Absolutely. I think so. You know, I was having a conversation with my, um, I think it was with you like yesterday and we were saying how the truth is the, the reason this protests are going so seamlessly and it's not really disrupting activities is because COVID prepared us for it. You know, the whole work from home um, um, process had sort of been put in place. So more organizations are sort of in that space where they're used to their workers working from home anyway. So if you're protesting, you can still do your work. So it's amazing. It's interesting times we're in. I can't wait to see the outcome of these protests. <laughs> yeah, we are at times. Well, so today we're discussing the diaspora impact on um, the COVID-19, uh, I'm sorry, the NSAS protest. <laughs> NASA put COVID-19 in my mouth. <laughs> now we're discussing the, 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 the impact on the diaspora impact on the NSAS protest. And here's what we found as today's quote. Now, the ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and cruelty by the bad people, but the silence over that by the good people. That's from Martin Luther King Jr. Um, Nasa, what do you want to say about this quote, you know, and how apt it is for this time? You know, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like maybe I was a born activist and I like to speak on behalf of people that can't speak. And I just find that for me, justice is just being able to speak for those people that can't speak for themselves. Or when you see the truth, you speak it. And we've grown up in a society where sometimes being quiet is sort of seen as being respectful or being, um, I don't know what the word is, just ba basically like safer okay. to be quiet. And I think that times have changed now. Like people have reached the point of frustration. You better speak up. And that's what's happening in Nigeria right now. We can no longer keep quiet. We're the Sorosoke generation, as they say. <laughs> And it's better that we <laughs> serve. <Sorosoke. laughs> <Okay. laughs> Nasa, you said it all. You have totally said it all because we have to speak up for the voiceless. You know, everybody has grown up to believe that. Like um, Sean Kuti, you know, I'm such a fan of that man. Sean Kuti said when he came on the show um, some time back, he said something about the working class not looking out for the people who were voiceless, that they felt, oh, it can't be me, it can't touch me. But guess what? People that it's were affected us. by SARS, people that were hurt by SARS, it could have been anybody. Look at the man that was in TB Joshua's church that made that, gave that testimony, saying that he was coming from church with his wife and family. And it could have been anybody. So it is important that we speak up. Speaking up is the way forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So you know the end. Um, the answers. The ongoing NSAT protest seems not to be going anywhere because uh, there's trust issues with the youth because they don't seem to believe in the government that they are meeting up with their demands. And for the first time in the history of Nigeria, we have a borderless protest where it's not limited within the borders of Nigeria. We have people all over the all over the world joining their voices to protest 
with the answers um, uh, with Nigeria on the answers um, movement. And we have Dr. Olufemi Lai, um, Dr. Hade Olufemi Lai is here to speak to us. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news. <laughs> 